Hey guys, welcome back to Character Red Woodshop. If you're new here, my name's John and I represent the Character Red brand. If you're not new here, thanks for checking out another video. So in this next video, I am kicking off a bathroom shelf build um, and I'm incorporating dado cuts and pocket holes. We are now in Okinawa, Japan and uh, we've got some items for our house that we need to build. This is like more of like a budget build. This is definitely a good video for some joinery techniques that you might not know or you might not have tried. All right, guys, with that said, we're going to dive into this build and I can't wait to show you this bathroom shelf and have it come to life right in front of the camera. So I appreciate you watching and let's get after it. All right, guys, so first we're going to start with the actual cutting of the legs. You're going to have nine, which I only used eight, but I cut nine pieces at 25 inch inches tall. And then we're going to move right into these dado cuts. And so I'm putting the dados a inch and a half from the bottom, middle ways to where I have about an eight inch shelf, and then directly on the top because I want that top shelf to sit exactly flush with um, the top of these columns. Okay, so the actual shelves, you're actually going to have um, two 20 inch boards, one for each side, and then the board in the middle is roughly about 12 inches. So once you get those cut, then you can go ahead and start sanding your boards down. Just did a light sand, that way I could go back and hit it with the 120 grit and the 220 grit later on. I used the M1 pocket hole pro system from Masca Woodworking. Their products are amazing and this is the first time that I was able to do some pocket holes with this. Alright with that being said I am going to list Masca and um, the link for their products down in the description below. I bought this M1 Pro System um, with my own money, uh, but it's something that I definitely believe in. The, um, it, they're a great company and um, they're actually a fraction of the cost of their competitors and that's saying a lot when they contribute such a quality product. I was highly impressed with this jig and I will continue to use it for all of the pocket hole joinery needs um, that arise in my shop. So I already know that I have a couple of builds that um, I plan to use pocket holes in and this is definitely going to be a great addition to my shop. Alright, so with the quarantine, we've had a hard time getting um, paint and stain, anything like that, out into town. So we've had to rely on spray paint that we can get at the local PX, and it's not my favorite thing to use on a project, but I really wanted to get something done in the shop, so uh, I just ended up spray painting it. All right guys, so moving right along, I'm hitting um, the tops of all these shelves after I got them painted with some steel wool. 
this is going to do two things. Um, it's going to pop the grain a little bit in the wood and it's also going to remove a little bit of that excess paint that's on there and then I'm going to go right into staining the top shelf. So my wife wanted all of the columns painted white and then the bottom two shelves painted white and then that top shelf she wanted stained kind of a walnut. I wanted to do it out of walnut wood but the wood shop was shut down but um, I found this stain at one of the authorized places and we are going to knock it out like this. I would also be remiss if I didn't mention my buddy Tim over at Georgia Workshop. He sent me this cool hat um, not that long ago. In the maker community here, we support makers. Make sure you go check him out. He's on Instagram at, at Georgia Workshop, and he has a YouTube channel, Georgia Workshop. And check out all their awesome content that they're throwing out over there because they truly do some amazing projects. All right, so now I'm starting assembly and I quickly realized that something's not quite right with the way that I plan to put this thing together. I'd already had some quick and thick on this and had to rip it apart and then put it back together from the middle down to the bottom because that's just um, how I designed the thing. I didn't take into consideration that it would be so hard to get that other shelf in. So after doing that and realizing my screw up, um, things went very smooth and went pretty um, pretty fast. The quick and thick really sets in, and um, I just had some you know 23 gauge nails that I drove into them to kind of keep them in place with some clamps, and now I get to set in the top. And I'm really liking how it's turning out. Again, this is a budget build, and this was. Um, a quick money saver and we just needed something to fill the gap so it um, doesn't have to look extraordinary or anything like that and it gave me an opportunity to practice my dado cuts. Alright guys, well that will about wrap it up here at Character Red Woodshop and as always give me a like if you uh, found this video entertaining or if it helps you out in any way and make sure to check out all my other content over on instagram pinterest thanks guys we really appreciate it So